Massive Immigration Changes in Australia, from July 2024 onwards, a comprehensive guide. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss some major changes in Australia's immigration policy that are coming into effect from July 2024. These changes are set to impact various visa categories, streamline processes, and introduce new pathways for immigrants. So, let's get started. First up, we have the Skilled Migration Program Overhaul. The Australian government is introducing a revamped points-based system that prioritizes skills in high-demand sectors. Points will be awarded based on age, education, work experience, and English language proficiency. Additional points will be given to applicants willing to live and work in regional areas. This aims to address skill shortages and promote population growth outside major cities. For international students, there's great news. Graduates from Australian institutions will now have extended work rights, allowing them to stay and work in Australia for up to four years after completing their studies. Additionally, high-performing students in specific fields will have streamlined pathways to permanent residency. Migration program planning level. The government will set the 2020 for 225 permanent migration program planning level at 185,000 places. It will allocate 130 to 1,200 places, around 70% to the skill stream. This is a slight reduction of 5,000 places, compared with the 2023 to 24 planning level of 190,000 places. From 2025 to 26, the government will extend the planning horizon for the permanent migration program, from one year to four years. Work experience reduced for subclass for 180 to visas. The work experience requirement for the temporary skill shortage, subclass for 180 to visa will reduce from 2 years to 1 year for all applicants, from the 23rd of November 2024 onwards. It is not clear how this change will be implemented, considering that new skills in demand visa is expected to replace subclass for 180 to visas by the end of 2024. Trade skills assessments, the government will work to develop a modern IT solution for the assessment of trade skills for skilled migrants by Trades Recognition Australia. Work and holiday visa of China, Vietnam, and India. From 2024 to 2025, the government will introduce a visa pre-application ballot process for the CAP work and holiday, subclass for 160 to visa program for China, Vietnam, and India. A ballot charge of $25 will apply, and it will be indexed to the Consumer Price Index in future years. Mobility Arrangement for Talented Early Professional Scheme Mates The government will implement a new mobility arrangement for Talented Early Professional Scheme Mates program for Indian nationals from the 1st of November 2024. Mates will provide a new mobility pathway for 3,000 Indian graduates and early career professionals aged 18 to 30 years at the time of application, with knowledge and skills in targeted fields of study, to live and work in Australia for up to two years. The visa will have a pre-application ballot charge of $25 and an application charge of $365, both of which will be indexed to the Consumer Price Index in future years. This measure is part of the Australia-India Migration and Mobility Partnership Arrangement, MMPA. Visitor Visas for Indian Nationals The government also lengthened the validity of the Visitor Visa, Subclass 600 Business Visitor Stream, for Indian Nationals from up to 3 years to up to 5 years. The new National Innovation Visa, the current Global Talent Visa, Subclass 858 will be replaced by the new National Innovation Visa, from late 2024. The National Innovation Visa will target exceptionally talented migrants who will drive growth in sectors of national importance. Business Visa Program BIP Closure The Business Innovation and Investment Visa Program BIP will cease. Refunds of visa application charge will be provided from September 2024 for those who wish to withdraw their BIP application. The budget implies that a new visa to replace BIP program will be implemented, however no details are provided. Introduction of new visa categories The budget introduces several new visa categories to streamline the immigration process and address emerging needs. These categories may include specialized visas for industries experiencing skill shortages, entrepreneur visas to encourage innovation and investment. 
and family reunion visas to facilitate reunification of families. Expansion of work visa programs. There's a notable expansion in work visa programs aimed at attracting skilled professionals to fill critical gaps in the Australian workforce. This expansion may encompass increased quotas for skilled migration visas, simplified pathways for temporary work visas, and incentives for employers to sponsor foreign workers. Focus on regional migration. The budget emphasizes regional migration by offering incentives for skilled workers to settle in regional areas. This may include additional points or benefits for visa applicants willing to live and work outside major cities, as well as investment in infrastructure and services to support regional communities. Investment in visa processing systems to enhance efficiency and accessibility. The budget allocates funds for the modernization of visa processing systems. This investment aims to reduce processing times, improve user experience, and ensure timely responses to visa applications. Review of student visa policies Given the significance of international education to Australia's economy, the budget includes a review of student visa policies. This review may explore measures to attract more international students, streamline visa processes for students, and enhance post-study work opportunities. Enhanced visa compliance measures, the budget introduces stricter measures to ensure visa compliance and integrity. This may involve increased monitoring of visa holders, penalties for visa breaches, and measures to combat visa fraud and exploitation. The massive immigration changes set to take effect in Australia from July 2020 for represent a significant shift in policy aimed at addressing economic needs, promoting regional development and enhancing humanitarian efforts. These changes offer new opportunities for skilled workers, families, students, entrepreneurs, and refugees. As we move forward, it will be important to monitor the implementation and impact of these reforms to ensure they achieve their intended goals. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on immigration policies and other important topics. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.